sports. It's in the game. Hello everyone, Anfield looking radiant today, the sun shining brightly. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And coming right up for you, action from the European International Cup semi-final. It's Porto up against Rennes. Well, we're now down to the final four, Derek. It's been a great tournament up to now. Good preparation for the upcoming season. And both teams would love to get to the final in a few days' time to cap it all off. Well, still an issue here. Danger averted for now. It should be! Really vital interception. Well, the keeper had to intervene under a bit of pressure there. Applying vigorous pressure. Lovely work to get past his man. That's a useful cross. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Adama. Potential danger here. Can they cover up? Well, threat averted. 
Well, he's a player who, if anything, seems to get better with age, Raul Jimenez. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, he's playing well at the moment. He's confident. He's making runs in behind. He always looks a threat when he gets on the ball. He's been good with the ball at his feet. And when crosses come into the box, he's looked dangerous as well. It's been a really good period for him. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot! Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. A lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. And a long way out here. Oh, he could have added to their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but they're still looking for the buffer here. Costa. Well, he's lost it. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And the cross into the middle. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Has a go. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Let's see about the delivery. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. I must say, this looks promising. Real chance. And a goal! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. A move of promise on the flank. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Raul Jimenez. Perfect challenge. Jeremy Gela. And in possession, Baptiste Santa Maria. Porto have given us away. Really good challenge. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. How about the cross? Well, really stout defending there, off the line. And that brings to an end the first half. This two up. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jimenez. It needs an accurate cross. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Making sure nothing untoward happened.
Well, there's been a lot of chatter on the internet about Wolves and Stewart. They have their new signing. It's finally gone through. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. And a body in the way. Firing it towards goal. Denied once more. Read it well. On and on he goes. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Porto have given us away. No foul play, says the referee. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy nilly. Jimenez. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Virgo Solberg Melling. And it's a quality pass. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And yellow. Well, he couldn't quite keep that header down. Well, those stats confirm it. Porto have enjoyed the majority of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And a chance for him on the flank. And he did well to cut it out. Takes the shot. Oh, goodness me, he's crashed it against the woodwork. Well, it's so difficult to get that on target. He's done fantastically well. He can count himself unlucky there. And the keeper dicing with danger. Had to come up with the ball and did. But I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. Wilson Manafa. Now with Jimenez. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And the keeper's delighted to see that sail well over the bar. Goal kick. And they're making a change. Jeremy Doku. Strongly in, Pepe. Intelligent threaded pass here. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Here it is now, a substitution. And this could really make certain. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. Trying to pick out a teammate. It didn't happen for them. Well, he's lost it. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Crossing into the middle, got to it easily, the keeper. Promising sequence. Now delivering that deep cross. Not away completely. Danger averted for now. He's in here. Surely. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. The ball rolling. 
struggling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. And the referee's whistle, the home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, what a display that was. Their attacking play was breathtaking at times and they completely dominated in midfield, which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect. They'll surely be favourites going into the final. Well, Raul Jimenez, difficult to contain. We've said that before, of course. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his gen... I must say, this looks promising. Real chance. Well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the European International Cup final just moments away. It's Crystal Palace facing Porter. Well, it's been a really good tournament so far, Derek. Let's hope the final can do it justice. The quality of football and entertainment has been excellent. Pre-season games can often be lethargic affairs, but that's not been the case here. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. Are you? Well, he's given us away. Really a very poor ball. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, I'll be looking at his positional play today. Is he going to make the... Must score! I'm just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Jimenez. And it's played into the centre. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Who can they pick out? Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked. A 
And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Superb effort to keep it in. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And he's fired it against the post. And nothing comes of it. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now. They just need to take one of these chances. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Will Hughes. Jordan, are you here? And he's got the beating of his opponent. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, still an issue here. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, Porto have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes. As you can see, they're creating plenty of chances and looking at constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Oh, what's he gone and done? Counter-attacking, very much an option. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Can they stop it going in? And a goal it is! But in all honesty, the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. And they get the ball moving again. Can Palace come up with an answer here? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, threat about it. Wilfried Zaha. And the counter looks on here. Options available. High quality defending. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. Milivojevic. Are you? Has the strength to hang on to it. And a good take under duress there. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Could play it in. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Zaha. Could cross it in here. Well, not the best clearance. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. Substitution time it is here. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Played in there. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Raul Jimenez. He made it look simple, really. 
Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Substitution time it is. And the keeper more than equal to it. So the corner played into the box. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Now we're into the final half hour. Well, Palace are certainly controlling the possession, as you can see. But their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Raul Jimenez. Jimenez. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So, 2-0 now. Time to play it over. Well, great read there to intercept. Adama. And a good looking ball. And you need your defender to take charge. Can they get in behind them? Gives it a go. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Just 15 minutes remaining. And now, passing it through. It all counts for naught. Well, he needs to be careful here. Odson Edouard. An attack full of promise. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Poor pass. Could be threatening. Zaha. Straight offside, but only just. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, five minutes remaining. But you just feel this is over already. A fine block. Cairo Riedewald. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Now possibilities in the centre. Still a chance. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And there goes the final whistle. Winning any pre-season tournament serves as a big morale booster, Stuart. Well, it certainly does, Derek. It's a good win for them and great preparation for the season ahead. The manager will be pleased with this. He's got a lot of good things to take from this tournament. They've been outstanding. Yes, laying down a marker with the campaign proper in mind. Absolutely ideal. Well, it might only be a pre-season tournament, but it's always special to come out on top. And you can see just how happy the players are. Look at those celebrations. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken.
Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. Who can they pick out?